Okay. So, uh, welcome back to uh, episode 65 of the Fortnite Mythbusters. In today's episode, we're, we're doing myths with the brute. Uh, it still hasn't been vaulted out of arena. I, I don't know why. As well as a ton more myths, which uh, you guys obviously requested. So, if you do have a myth you would like me to test in the next or future episodes, make sure to go down in the comment section down below right now and drop a comment of a unique myth for a pretty good chance to be featured. As well, guys, at 500,000 subscribers, I will be doing a face reveal as well as starting a brand new series one that uh I, I haven't seen anybody else yet do so uh, if you guys are excited for that and you do want to help me get closer to that goal of 500,000 subscribers feel free to subscribe and turn post notifications on to never miss another Fortnite Mythbusters episode as well guys let's see if we could smash 14,444 likes on today's video what a random number but uh that would be insane I appreciate all of the support and uh, without further ado let's get right on in to today's episode going straight into the first myth the first myth is, can you snipe or shoot a stink bomb in midair and explode it before it hits the ground? After testing this out for quite a while in a creative mode, my friend was throwing stink bombs, I was shooting it with a scar, I was shooting it with a sniper, I, I could have sworn at least one of the bullets should have hit the stink bomb, but uh, unfortunately none of them really registered and uh, the, the stink bomb kind of didn't explode until it hit the ground, unfortunately. Going into the next myth, the next myth is, if a loot llama spawns in Tilted Town, will you be able to destroy it with your pickaxe or even open it? So Tilted Town it's a tricky place because uh, when you land there you literally cannot build you cannot destroy anything so uh, it, it kind of takes you back to like the Call of Duty or even PUBG days so uh, in game when we tested this out a, a loot llama spawned literally on the edge of the zone which uh, it, it made it a very very good way to test because we were able to stand outside of the zone and try and hit it as well as stand inside and unfortunately no matter what even if you're outside of the zone you, you for some reason cannot break the llama if this ever does happen to you luckily you are able to search it by holding down whatever your use key is so uh, on my PC it's, it's E for me so whatever you have it bound to you just hold that down and you open the loot llama like regular and uh, that way you can get all of the loot very easily going into the next myth the next myth is if you detonate a brute next to another brute will it deal enough damage to explode both of them will any structures around take any type of damage as well now this is actually a really really good myth because in game not not too many brutes fight each other one-on-one -on -one, and even if they are you I mean you, you won't really sell self-destruct your brew in the middle of the fight while uh right next to it so in game when we did test this out i was on my own custom matchmaking server and uh, i i had two brutes literally side by side both of them were full 1000 hp and uh when, when i kind of self-destructed one of them it exploded it did a little bit of damage to the walls all around but only to the other brute surprisingly only 100 hp was uh really dealt it's really weird how uh, it only does 100 hp damage to another brute but uh, if you're literally standing under it while having full 200 hp and uh, even a bush on it will kill you about immediately when uh i mean you, you have over 200 hp like what what's the point of that i really don't know overall though a, a very good myth going into the next myth the next myth is what happens when you jump off the side of the map while inside of a brute in previous mythbuster episodes we tested to see what happens if you jump off the map with uh maybe like a plane or throw a port of four off the side of the map or even jump off the side of the map after winning a game but uh this time i tested it while inside of a brute and typically this is something you wouldn't do in a regular game in game when i tested this out I, I basically jumped into the middle of the ocean and what was weird is right when i hit the ground it killed me just about instantly and i was in a custom matchmaking so the game automatically ended but the brute it didn't instantly die or blow up or uh, kind of just teleport through the map i mean it landed on top of the water it kept sliding and it went through the whole self-destruct phase and then eventually exploded a couple seconds later i thought this was pretty strange but overall a pretty cool and interesting myth going into the next myth the next myth is when doing a traversal emo while inside of a brute do you walk any faster or slower than normal typically in game when you use a traversal emo you, you kind of walk slower than normal i mean you're doing the dance so of course you're going a little bit slower than normal walking speed or even sprinting speed but uh surprisingly when i tested this out in a game with a brute the outcome was actually pretty strange and i i definitely did not expect it when using a traversal emo that the audio kind of gets distorted a little bit which was strange in one way but uh you, you walk literally the exact same speed of course you can't run you can't boost otherwise it will cancel it all out but uh 
when you're doing the dance or whatever the traversal emote is, you, you still will walk just about the exact same speed as if you weren't really doing the emote at all, and it, it totally messes up the whole flow of the emote. I mean, it's honestly kind of funny when doing it in a brew. I mean, it, it looks totally weird. Going into the next myth, the next myth is what happens when you go through the loot lake orb while inside of a plane. Now, unfortunately, the planes were also known as the X4 Storm Wings. They, they, they're no longer in Fortnite. I mean, how is that unfortunate? Those things were totally terrible in the game, and uh, I'm happy they're gone, but knowing Fortnite, they'll probably end up adding them back pretty soon. Anyways, in-game, when I tested this out, I, I did a glitch to get back to the main island. That way, I could spawn in a plane, and the Loot Lake Orb, if you don't know already, when you jump in it, it acts as a massive rift. I mean, right when you touch it, it'll teleport you up into the sky, and you'll be able to glide. It's like an infinite rift, basically. While in a plane going through a typical rift, it will teleport you up into the sky, but this time, when you do go through a orb, it's still makes the same noise as well as the same effect as uh, you kind of using a rift but uh, unfortunately you do not get teleported up even from a side angle you can see clearly that uh, the kind of line goes straight up as if it's the player traveling up to the sky to the rift and uh, even the sky cracks as if a rift was been used but uh the, the plane totally cancels it out which was pretty weird going into the next myth the next myth is if your teammate self destruct the brute will you take damage even though you're on the same team now typically in game like i said before you, you really won't self destruct the brute especially if you and your teammate have the brute all to yourself because uh that that just basically equals a win with how overpowered these things really are i'm sure most of you guys are aware that uh, basically the rock is from the brute it won't do damage to you if you're on the same team uh, i i I assume all of you guys know that when using the brute but uh self-destructing you, you think would be kind of like a different story i mean self-destruct the explosion it should be your job to get away from the explosion surprisingly the same effect of a no friendly fire basically applies to this i mean you could self-destruct the brute and literally be sitting afk in the sea and uh you'll basically be 100 safe you won't take any damage as long as it's your teammate was the one who self-destructed it rather than an enemy in the game going straight into the next myth the next myth is is the plane able to destroy the buildings inside of tilted town like i said before sally planes are no longer in fortnite but that still doesn't mean that uh, maybe they may have missed out on this feature and uh planes might be the one thing that will be able to do any damage inside of tilted town but uh in game when i did test this out i, I use the same glitch to get back to the spawn island with my creative menu and uh, basically spawn in a plane and flew straight into tilted town my first time flying through the zone it immediately kicked me out of the plane i had to glide and get back in it and uh, when i was there i, I kind of got stuck unfortunately i was not able to get out and uh, I was not able to break the walls by using the boost because uh, you, you really were kind of stuck. You don't have any momentum to actually break the walls. After having my friend spawn me in another plane, I then went into Tilted Town, this time with uh, a little bit of altitude and used the boost straight into the building. And I, I clearly should have gone straight through the building if uh, it wasn't a no build or break zone, but uh, I, I guess they really got their, their stuff on lockdown here. I literally did no damage and uh, it didn't even make the noise of me making any impact with the buildings, which was pretty weird. Overall though, a pretty cool and interesting myth to say the least going into the next myth the next myth is can you rocket ride the brute's missiles now ever since the brute has been released everybody has been asking for this myth i mean it's been getting over a thousand likes on every single upload so uh i, I really gotta test this one out for you guys trying this myth out in game was extremely difficult it's not as easy as a typical rocket ride because uh, the, the brute the rockets are basically like rng i mean they don't go in the same direction every single time and you can't really predict whether or not you're gonna land on one of them after multiple 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 attempts i mean literally like probably 10 or 20 attempts we were only able to land on a rocket literally one time and that one time that we did land on it uh, we, we weren't really able to travel along with it for a very long time i mean it exploded almost on impact after going into replay mode and uh, slowly analyzing every single rocket on every single jump attempt that we did we were able to land on it once and uh, surprisingly from my friend's point of view when he did land on this specific rocket it kind of glitched him up in the air a little bit as if the rocket has its own hitbox but uh, as as soon as you touch it i mean he wasn't even on the front of the rocket and uh it, it kind of broke just about instantly and exploded so unfortunately i, I really do not think it's possible to rocket ride a, a brute's missiles at least for not a really long time because they don't go in a straight path and uh, they, they kind of spin and do flips and all of that crap which uh it's kind of weird anyways that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you have enjoyed if you have make sure to leave a like and also subscribe if you are new to the channel if you do have a myth you would like me to test in the next or future episodes make sure to go down in the comment section down below and drop a comment of a unique myth for a pretty good chance to be featured as well show me you guys the support by dropping me a follow on my instagram my twitter as well as follow me on snapchat and i'll try to reply to as many messages as i could but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i will see you next time